Hello, lions. Now, Cedric will be joining us shortly, and Eric is down in Amakala. I believe there might be a little bit of rain there, so we'll see how they progress. And she is so polite. She always moves away from the rest of the pride to go and have her poo. Others will just poo right there on their neighbors, on their sisters, on their friends. I mean, I've never quite understood it. But um, I think she's having a little bit of a difficult one. And she did it in such a spot that we also wouldn't drive there. Good girl. <laughs> oh my goodness, Kimberly Lopez tells me this is Amber's daughter. I am so out of touch with this pride. Amber Eyes is no longer. Oh, I'll spare a thought. One by one, they will slowly start getting ready to move. <clears throat> We're hoping anyway. Now, one of our colleagues was here and he uh, said one of these lionesses got a huge gash in their chest. They were messing around with a herd of buffalo yesterday. Okay, well, let's see. Where are you going to come to? You're going to pop down in the middle there. There's a spot. No. I'm going to go use the ladies' room first. Oh, there's a spot. Well, everyone, there's absolutely nothing I can do vehicle-wise now. We are practically ensconced by the pride of lions and kuhumas, if you're just joining us. My favorite pride of lion. Mm, Kelly, I am so lucky. I am so super lucky. Yeah, that's the bench of the car. <laughs> they are right here. Well, what can we do, Panda? What is there to do exactly? Just chilling, chilling with my cats. <laughs> what a treat. What a treat. Here we have another big creature. This is one of our big rhinos. He's massive, decent size. Look at that belly. <laughs> He's got a very big belly, I must say. It's probably about 10 centimeters off the floor. Mm, no, maybe more, but about 20, 25. But he is a monster. I'm gonna wait till he turns. Oh, please turn for us, big boy. You wanna see how big your head is? Because it's he huge. And um, I think this is the one that's got the chip in his head from fighting too much with another rhino. He's also fairly muddy. He's been in uh, one of the mud baths doing a bit of mud rolling. But now this weather, this, this rain we are receiving, not rain, this drizzle may, well, I, if there's enough of it, it could actually wash all that mud off. It won't wash all of it off, it'll wash a fair, a fair amount of it. And you can see this man is heavily feeding. He's not picked up the pace of his lawnmower put it into gear four. Good morning and happy Monday morning, everybody. Welcome to Juma Private Game Reserve in the Sabi Sands, where we, Cedric and myself, found wild dogs as we came out of camp. My name is Steve, I'm joined by Panel Camera, and look at what we got. 
how amazing is this? This is the Lupin pack again that we had the other day. Quite recognizable. Oh, hello guys. What are you smelling? What are you smelling? Now, as I was coming out the gate, I just saw Impala's going crazy. Cedric was already on the other side. And we both went in. And we were both following these dogs for a little bit. They haven't gone too far. And uh, so Cedric and I, the director, Jared, said he'll start with whoever's got the best visual. And it just so happens that uh, the dogs came closer to me and Cedric has been once again incredibly kind and humble. There he is in the background. <laughs> there they are, waving. They're going to go follow up on the lions from yesterday. Thanks, it is. You know, the impala scattered. We just followed them through the middle here, and there were three impala just staring at them as if they didn't see them. It's quite bizarre. Quite bizarre. Here's the one with the collar. Hello. Well, we'll start a day off like this any day of the week. We've just uh, located on the Black Dam Mails. And this is one of the, the males. Of course, remember that we had the two male lines last night. Uh, the other male has gone a little bit further uh, east towards the Mulwati. And now we've got this male that's following his brother. And they're going straight to the drainage line now. And we're going to have to try and see if we can uh, shoot a round. Got in a beautiful. That's of course the the bigger of the two males when it comes to main main size. <coughs> no, sorry, I do apologise. There's a vehicle that's just going past there on the on the one side there. There we go. But beautiful. Yeah, I think he's going to come straight towards us and pull. They can see they are listening out. No, Sandra, you'll find eventually you'll find that the limp will uh, disappear. Uh, you know, once they start moving, because it's the same as when you're getting out of bed. It's always a very, um, you know, your muscles are still very tight. Oh, that was very close, eh? And then slowly they start walking off their limb. Like this younger male, like this one with the smaller mane, he still looks a little bit on the his front left. But it is getting better. Oh, and they're going straight across uh, the drainage line now. Wow, wow, wow. That was wonderful.